the big challenge is the food security. Initially, our medical clinic uh, program is focused on the medical services, but gradually we have seen that there are patient and the family are under treatment at medical clinic. They also don't have enough food. And again, among our patients who even they go back to their family, so we still need to provide food for them because they don't have regular job and then they need nutrition support. Many children drop out school because in Burma or here because of the food security at home. And children separated from families because of they have to go and work for the families. Metal Clinic and our partner organization, we are collaborating on uh, improving the food standard and minimum standard of care for the children who separated from family. It includes food program. Currently, we provide food approximately 5,000 people uh, per month. So if we don't have enough funding, we also worry about the food program will be seriously affected. For food security and child protection, I think it is directly related to social, cultural, economic rights because people inside Burma, the displacement is not only because of the fighting. They don't have economic opportunity for their own land, and the land problem and land issue is make a lot of displacement for Burmese people. To 1995, you know, the Ministry of Health or the local public health in Thailand, uh, they try to collaborate with many international NGOs and the local CBO uh, to improve health services for Burmese people on both sides of the border. So focus on the communicable diseases, malaria, HIV, tuberculosis and diarrhea, pneumonia. In the national level, there is a lot of talk, but in the local level or state level, regional level, uh, this not actually work. So to be effective collaboration, uh, not only in the national level, the local level should be more uh, collaborate. But when we see the collaboration, this not only in the government level, international NGO on both sides of the border and also empowering the community organization and strengthening the network both inside and outside is very crucial to be effective collaboration and to be effective use of our resources. A patient refer from the community or from home. Um, the earlier they come, the cost treating at medical clinic also lower. If they come for malaria treatment in medical OBD, it costs about 200 to 250 bahts per person. But if we have to admit in our medical department, it costs about 4,000, 5,000 bahts. It takes 20 times. When we look at our referral budget, um, we refer less than our uh, less than one percent of our caseload, but it costs more than fifteen percent of our uh, annual budget. So, I mean the the longer they stay at home, the cost for the referral is uh, higher. Uh, we want more community organization or individual to learn about their health problems and to set up better health care services for their own community and then to refer earlier and then we also can bring to Mesa Hospital earlier. So in these cases, prevention and the community participation is very important. So in Thailand, we try to strengthen our partner with many community organizations or 
NGOs, but even there is still problem because the community organizations are not registered and many of our health workers who are doing outreach work doesn't have legal status. So there are still threats of arrest and the security problem. But for inside Burma, there is no civil society organization really can operate and then the education and pro program is very limited. So the thing is to reduce the burden of the referral and the high cost, one of the big challenge and the main thing is how to strengthen the network of the community organization to learn about their basic health rights. We're not seeing that uh, the situation inside Burma will be improved or in very future. So we need long-term multi-year funding from the government. And so the international community or the individual can raise their voice to their government to continue protect and promote human rights and to, uh, to help the community organization or groups working on the border. Raising awareness in the community is also very important because the community has a stronger voice, the government can change the policy. We also want many community to set up their own uh, fundraising program uh, to work with the community here. So like can provide support for the school program or want to support the program for the uh, child protection service or food security program. So the community themselves, they can set up the program and try to link and network for fundraising uh, events. And also individual also can contribute their funding through like online donation or through the network. And people also can donate supply equipment, food and medicine and the clinic is always welcome to work with all the community organizations to do the fundraising for that.